Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to write tangent of 3x in terms of just tangent of x. So we do not want any multiplication of our angle inside of our tangent. So the two identities that we're going to use are the sum rule for tangent and also or the sum identity of tangent and then we're also going to use the double angle identity. Okay, so we're going to use both of these rules where a and b just represent the values of our angles. So that would be the same thing as 3x and x in our situation above. So what we're going to start with is tangent of 3x can be rewritten as tangent of 2x plus 1x. Okay, so now we can use our sum rule first. So we're going to start with this rule where a just represents the 2x and b is just x. So we would rewrite this as tangent of 2x plus tangent of x. Okay, and it doesn't matter if you did x plus 2x, you're going to get the same answer in the end because of the fact that both addition and multiplication are commutative. Okay, so on the bottom, we would have 1 minus tangent of our a term, which is 2x, times tangent of our b term. So now this is where it gets a little bit complicated because of the fact that we have to put fractions within fractions. So if you notice, tangent 2x is following this rule right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace tangent 2x with 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent squared of our x or of our a value. So instead of writing tangent 2x, we are going to write 2 tangent of just x over 1 minus tangent squared of just x. Everything else has to stay the same for the top part. So we would have still the plus tangent x over 1 minus, and again, we're going to replace our tangent 2x with the same thing that we did on the top, 2 tangent x over 1 minus tangent squared x times tangent x. All right, so now we have a, an ugly mess, really. We have a really complex fraction that we don't want to have. So what we need to do in order to simplify this complex fraction is we're going to have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the lowest common denominator of both the numerator and the denominator. So in this case, we are going to multiply everything by 1 minus tangent squared of x. And like I said, we have to do that to both the numerator and the denominator because the only denominator that appears in both the numerator and the denominator is 1 minus tangent squared x. Okay, so let's simplify this. The nice thing is, is when I distribute this in, so we are going to be distributing this value in to both of these. When I distribute it to the first one, this cancels out. So we're just left with 2 tangent x, and it gets rid of that fraction. Plus, we're going to take tangent x, and we are going to distribute the 1 minus tangent squared x. And you could do this all at one time. I'm just trying to show the steps. I try not to skip too many steps when I am showing out the work. Okay, we're going to do the same thing to the denominator. So we're going to take this and we're going to distribute it into both things. So for the first one, I'm just multiplying it by 1. So 1 times anything is just that value, no matter how complicated. So I would just have 1 times, and I guess I could just write it. So we just have 1 times this, which is just going to give us the 1 minus tangent squared x. Minus, on this one, because I could technically think of this as one fraction here, we could just cancel out the denominator, so I'm really left with 2 tangent of x times tangent of x. So now we just need to do some simplifying. Um, there's still some things that we can combine together and make it just a lo look a little bit less complicated. Okay, so again, we do have to distribute this tangent x into both of these. So in the numerator, we still have the 2 tangent x 
plus when I distribute this in, I would get tangent of x because tangent x times 1 is just tangent x minus on this one because I have one tangent here and I have two more tangents here, I really have tangent cubed of x. Okay, and then in the denominator, if we start simplifying a little bit, when we multiply this in, we would have 1 times 1, which is just 1, minus tangent squared of x, minus 2, and if I simplify these two together, tangent x times tangent x is just tangent squared x. All right, we are almost done. I know that this is very complex, and it can be very confusing, especially when you're dealing with tangent, you just have to treat them like you would any variable. So since tangent x and tangent x are considered like terms, if I add these two together, 2 plus 1 would just give me 3 tangent x minus tangent cubed x. Okay, so the numerator is simplified as much as I can simplify it. On the bottom, we have a tangent squared x and a tangent squared x, so I would just add the numbers in front. Remember, this is considered to be negative 1, and this is considered to be negative 2. So I would just do 1 minus negative 1 and negative 2 gives me a sum of 3. Tangent squared of x. And this would be our final answer. We cannot simplify anything else, so we would just rewrite this as... 3 tangent x minus tangent cubed of x divided by 1 minus 3 tangent squared of x. So what we did was we took, we started with tangent of 3 times the angle and we rewrote it in terms of just a single angle. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.